Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. This is part 3 of our Garden and Greenhouse series. In our last video, we showed you how to build an irrigation system inside a greenhouse. In today's video, we're going to show you how to construct a simple and effective greenhouse. No experience needed, no blueprint, no need special skills, and best of all, you don't have to be a carpenter, builder, or renovator. Anyone can build it. Just follow this video step by step and pause whenever you need to. We are going to build this greenhouse without a blueprint, clear plastic greenhouse wrap, and any expensive materials. Just see our step by step building process. Just two types of materials we use to build this greenhouse. Pressure treated wood and corrugated clear PVC panels. Before starting our building project, consider safety first. Work safe and finish the project safe and sound. We use personal protective equipment, PPE, hard hat, safety boots, leather gloves, ear plugs, and safety eyeglasses. Here are the tools and materials we use. Framing screws, three inch long, about 100 pieces. Heavy duty framing screws, four inches long, about 20 pieces. Carpenter square. Roofing screws with filter, one inch to one and a half inches long, about 150 pieces. Reprecating miter and scale saw. Drill bits, one eight an inch. Other bits, square head, T18, T20, and star head. Phillips, two tape measures, two color markers, tin snips, or wire cutter, sledgehammer, shovel, hose with water, two feet leveler, two foldable eight foot ladders, eight feet long by two by four, pressure treated wood, about 20 pieces, eight foot long by two by two inches, pressure treated wood, about four pieces, 26 inches by eight feet long, corrugated clear PVC panels, 20 pieces, self spring fence door hinges, three pieces. For the door handle, we got a little creative. We used window curtain brackets. Let's start by first digging eight holes on the boundary line of our greenhouse, 12 feet by 8 feet. Dig the first hole, about 1 foot deep. Cut two 45 degree angles on the bottom. Bring the wood into the hole and place it in. Use the sledgehammer to drive it into the water and ground and grab your leveler to make sure it's level. Then grab a drill, 1 8 inch drill bit and pre-drill a hole so that you can put the heavy duty framing screws 4 inch long without split. These eight posts are our vertical structural supports. Now we'll start with the top structural support. Since we don't have 11 foot piece, we're going to cut two pieces of wood, six foot long, and cut the ends 45 degrees on each side and combine them. Here the by six foot pieces combined with the 45 degree angles on each side and combine both of them to make one 11 foot piece. Now we're going to do an additional side support.
So go back to your wood and cut accordingly and measure each beam. We use additional side supports accordingly. Then clean up the tops by cutting off the existing pieces of wood that are sticking out. Now everything looks flat and very nice. Now we'll grab our corrugated PVC clear panels, place them onto the roof and make sure the pieces are overlapping so that they will help protect the greenhouse from rain. Now we'll grab our roofing screws and start drilling the panels into the roof. Fill the whole roof with the panels, then inspect. It looks great. Now we'll start constructing the door. For making the door, we became creative, avoiding buying a door. We use our leftover wood and few pieces of 2 inch by 2 inch wood instead. Now we're going to go to work on the door hinges. So grab three of the self-spring French door hinges and place them evenly on the door and drill three screws into the corresponding holes of the door. Now let's bring the door over to the frame and drill in the remaining part of the door hinges into the door frame using three screws. Once installed, open and close the door to check your work. The door so we'll measure the cut the excess off. We'll check the work, then the screws and drill PVC panel onto the door. And then open and close the door to check if it works. Now we'll work on the door handle. You can use any handle. We used a shower rod hanger, one sort of a life hack. It was sitting down in our storage without purpose, so we finally got to the purpose. Look at the greenhouse. It looks amazing. Here's a look at the greenhouse with the door installed. Now we're going to add our last structural support along the base, horizontal middle beams and vertical beams accordingly. Now it's time to install the side panels. No leftover, we used all effectively and one still extra. When installing the panels, we must screw them on and make sure that they're overlapping. So this will help with the rain cover. Measure and cut any excess off. 
and use the tiny snip around any pieces so that they will lay flush against the support. Here we're going to drill a hole so that the tubing, external tubing, for the irrigation system can receive a hose. Walk around to see if anything else needs to be done. Do your final inspection. It looks amazing. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and check out our other videos in the Garden Greenhouse series. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.